Hi, welcome. Simon here and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a hard drive replacement and I'll show you step by step on how to do that from start to the end. Here I have Dell Inspiron 15. And if you turn it around, you can see that this says Inspiron 1.5. And let me go ahead and get started. So the original hard drive, um, on this laptop is the spinning regular HDD disk and I'll be replacing with the uh, solid state drive so this is the SSD drive and it boots a lot faster and everything is the performance is on this solid state drive not the regular hard drive that spins and I'll show you to you and how to replace it now once you replace the hard drive you would actually need to install the windows like windows 10 or windows 11 and i'll make a separate video on how to create a bootable windows so you need to create a bootable uh, usb windows 11 or windows 10 and with this and the new hard drive that you just install then you can have a brand new uh, working laptop like a factory settings all right, so let's go ahead and get started on how to replace um, the old hard drive here. So the first thing I did was remove the uh, the battery. Now the next step is to go ahead and get a Phillips screwdriver and go ahead and remove all the screws. Once you remove the screw, let's go ahead and try to slide the uh, Tico drive to your left. So what I did was I'm pushing to my left, slide it to your left to remove the uh, optical drive here. And once you remove that, there are three little tiny screws. You need to remove the three tiny screws right here. Once you remove the three tiny screws, what we're going to do is gonna flip it around, open up your screen, and we need to remove the uh, keyboard. So if you pay close attention to the keyboard, uh, there's this little tab right here. One, two, three, four, and five. So you need to push it slight, slightly in and then pop it open, push it in a little bit and pop, pop it open. All right, so once you um, remove it towards yourself, like towards your body, 
and this is the keyboard you need to flip open that little clipper so open it up at a 90 degree angle and you can slide the keyboard cable out and then the next step here is for your touchpad same thing you need to open up the clipper and then slide that touchpad flex cable away from it and this is the optical drive same thing open up the safety clipper and slide that cable away now we need to come here and remove all these screws do not forget to do the power button open up the clipper and slide this flex cable down Once you have removed one, two, three, four, five screws, what you can do is get the metal prying tool. Just go ahead and start prying up the uh, the back plate. I like to work at the corner, so it's a lot easier. Right. Once you have the entire back plate removed, now you can see that the hard drive is here and this is your entire motherboard. If your CPU fan is dusty and will a lot of like stuff get uh, stuck in there, you want to take this opportunity to clean out your fan by using the Aiken spray, like the Aiken duster to spray it. Um, or just, you know, Get a toothpick or something to clean it off and here's the hard drive so we need to remove the hard drive by open up that little safety clipper and slide that cable to your left All right, so I just removed the two screws. And once you remove the two screws, the entire hard drive will just pop right out. And let's go ahead and remove the four screws. So what happened to my laptop here is the laptop, every time when I turn it on in the, uh, it show me the uh, boot error that says hard drive, uh, the hard disk error. The hard disk is not found or the OS is not found. So that means the hard drive is bad. Um, and this is the time to replace the hard drive. So this laptop here is about five years old. Typically the hard drive may last about three to four years. And once the hard drive starting to, you know, go bad or slow down, that is when you want to make sure you have your backup safe, uh, make sure you save your, uh, save your data in the backup, and maybe it's time to change out the hard drive. Now, once you have the, uh, the hard drive, so get ready with the SSD drive here. Let's go ahead and remove the uh, SATA connector. You can just simply slide it to slide it out. And this is the old hard drive. Let's put it on the side. Now we're going to install the onto the solid state drive. Yeah. Once you have that installed, it's pretty much a reverse process by installing the four screws. If you're interested and wanted to know where to buy the tools, like the electric screwdriver from as well as the um, the solid state drive what i'll do is i'll link them in the description below you can find them on amazon or ebay
and uh, you can follow along the tutorial on how to replace uh, the hard drive. And once you have the hard drive installed, make sure you want to connect the cable back together. So slide it back in. Make sure you have all the way in and then close that little secure clip. Once that thing is in, put the two screws back on. Now you want to take this opportunity to take a look at here. This is a secondary RAM slot. And if you try to upgrade and you want to upgrade additional RAM, you can do that. So this is a DDR4 RAM. Uh, if you take a close or DDR3 RAM, so it says PC3, that stands for DDR3, 4 gigs of RAM. And if you want to add another 4 gigs of RAM, you can do that by installing right here. All right, so that is all done. Let's go ahead and do the uh, installation back. You see this little uh, cable here? You need to insert onto like in between or into this little hole and then go ahead and get the uh, cover back in all right so flip it around and this is where the cable shows on the other side let's go ahead and reconnect everything back together so slide the cable in Put the little clipper back in, install and secure the flex cable. All right, once you have that installed, do not forget to put all these screws back in. Okay, once that is done, let's go ahead and get the keyboard back in. So get the flex cable push in and install. Get the clipper, press it down. And you just want to press the keyboard back in. It will just clip everything back together. Close the screen, turn it around. Install the three tiny little screws here on the side. And we can slide the uh, optical drive back in. Tiny little screw goes into the optical drive. This little silver screw here goes, goes on top in the middle of this part. And the rest of the screws, you can just put it back in. All right, so pretty much we just in, uh, replaced the hard drive with the solid state drive. Now the solid state drive is brand new, meaning that it doesn't have the Windows 10 or Windows 11 installed. So that um, when you turn on a computer, it wouldn't work because you don't have the Windows. So what you need to do is you need to install uh, Windows 10 back to your laptop or Windows 11, your choice. That means you need to have this USB bootable Windows installer. Where do you get this one? I'll make a separate video. Uh, you might want to check out the description below or maybe um, I'll try to link it at the end of the video here uh, where you can make the uh, bootable, bootable USB. For the installer. Okay. 
so once you have all the screws installed put the battery back in now you have a new hard drive in the laptop however the laptop would not turn on and boot, boot to windows because it doesn't have any windows on it so you need to have this usb uh, bootable installer file i'll make a separate video again i promise i'll, I'll, I'll link it uh, in the description below go check it out uh, make a bootable bootable uh, usb windows installer you insert into the laptop turn it on and do the installation and i'll try to make that separate video for you as well um, in this video here i mean in this laptop but on a separate video uh, make sure you check the, the description and the uh, the two little box here that i'm going to link it to all right if you find this video is helpful again please uh, give me a thumbs up like and share the video i would really appreciate you for doing that um yeah and just comment below let me know if you were able to change out the hard drive and i'd like to hear your opinion uh, see if you can follow along the video i hope you learned something today thanks for watching take care and bye now